First at five on your news leader, the weather experts are tracking showers and thunderstorms moving across the mid south. It's the first big rain we've seen in days. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Greg is off tonight. We're going to go straight to Tyler Eliason for a look outside and Tyler, if you're going to be out on the roads anytime soon, you need to take it. Take it easy. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Steph, if you've got some evening errands to run, you need a quick trip to the grocery store. Let this batch of heavy rain kind of wind down and clear out past your location before you want to do that because there is some standing water on the roads. It, you want some rain with how hot it's been and how dry it's been. But you just don't want it to come all at once. And unfortunately, this evening it is kind of all coming at once and it's been some heavy rain slow moving that has caused some issues on the roadways with uh, some flash flooding issues and flood advisories and spots. Flash flood warning out for most of the Memphis Metro extending down into uh, portions of DeSoto County as well with a secondary flash flood warning. All this really means is that we've had a lot of heavy rain and, and more rain falling in those same locations it is caused Causing some standing water on the roads. You get some areas that are poor, typically poor drainage and you also have some spots uh, like creeks and things like that that always uh, typically don't drain all that well and some of that water can back up onto the roadways and cause hydroplaning and just all sorts of issues. So again, if you don't have to be out for the next hour or two, you can kind of postpone it. I would do that. Heavy rain is starting to shift a little bit further east in the eastern Shelby County. So we're getting it out of downtown and kind of east of the 240 loop, but it's raining really heavily up towards Lakeland and Arlington now. Uh, some heavy rain extending up towards Bartlett and then kind of back building down towards Collierville, even down towards Vihalia, some heavy rain and eventually all this will slide over into Fayette County as well. So you folks will have some showers and storms to contend with. There's also some pockets of rain up through Tipton County and Lauderdale and up towards Dyer, Dyer County as well. You had a flood advisory up towards Dyersburg earlier this afternoon and there's more rain headed your way. So a lot to talk about this evening. We'll check out when these rain showers will clear out and of course when the heat's going to come back. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Steph. All right. Thank you a lot, Tyler.